the last few days have seen some of the worst violence in Libya since the revolution in 2011. You know, there was an extraordinary post on Facebook this morning. Are there any pilots out there who can fly our planes to safety? That's because at least 10 planes have been damaged or destroyed by fighting at Tripoli Airport. Of course, no international flights are coming in there anymore. And what that's about is that one of the militias from Zintan, they were instrumental in the overthrow of Colonel Gaddafi, but they have refused to give up the airport. They hold the airport. They won't let the government or anybody else take that territory. And they've been clashing with two other militias, one from the town of Misrata and the other the Islamists. So they're just fighting, fighting over the airport. Planes are on fire. The control tower has been destroyed. And at the same time, in the east, in Benghazi, there's fighting there. The Islamists against a private army, a private army commanded by a man called General Khalifa Hefta. He used to be with Gaddafi, then he turned against Gaddafi. And so what we're seeing now in Libya is a total breakdown of the state. All these different militias fighting each other. And the government, what government? They don't seem able to do anything at all. And all the countries around are very worried because what they see now is Libya turning into a haven for gun runners, drug smugglers, armed men, terrorists of all descriptions. Remember the revolution, what hope we all had. There's very little hope for Libya now.